Tonight we're learning that the man killed last night at Jefferson Square Park after a gunman opened fire on peaceful protesters is 27 year old Tyler Girth. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 630 here. I'm Paulina Butska. The Louisville native and Trinity graduate has been with protesters in the park as a photographer when the shooting happened around nine last night. Groth's family released a statement earlier today saying, quote, Tyler was incredibly kind, tender hearted and generous, holding deep convictions and faith, adding while we cannot fathom this life without our happy, inquisitive, hardworking, funny, precious Tyler. We pray that his death would be a turning point and catalyst for peace in the city he loved so much. Well, Tyler Emery right now is joining us live from Jefferson Square Park. And Tyler, a tragic loss last night. But what new information are we learning today? Well, Paulina, just in the last hour, we've learned from his arrest citation that the alleged shooter last night is 23 year old Stephen Lopez. Police told us earlier that Lopez was also injured last night and is in the hospital in police custody at University Hospital. LMPD also earlier today released some area surveillance footage showing the events of what happened last night. They do warn it may be graphic. They say it does show Lopez as the primary aggressor last night. LMPD interim Chief Robert Schroeder says Lopez, who can be seen in the video firing a gun into the park, had been a part of the protest since they began and has been arrested a few times over the last several weeks for protest related charges. Last night, other protesters reportedly asked Lopez to leave the park for his disruptive behavior. That's when the shooting took place. And LMPD also says there were others in the park that were armed who shot back at Lopez in defense. Whether they were there at the time of the shooting or not, I know the sadness of those who've been organizing and participating in peaceful protests for racial justice. This is absolutely not what they wanted or any of us wanted. None of us wanted to see this area of peaceful protest become a crime scene. No one else was injured in the shooting last night, and Lopez is facing charges of murder and first degree want and endangerment. Now, here at Jefferson Square Park, you can see protesters are back set up in the park with supplies. There's also a memorial that's been started in Tyler Gurth's honor. LMPD this afternoon did say that moving forward, it will be enforcing the ordinance prohibiting any tents or temporary shelters here in the park. And they say anyone who should go against that may face charges. I've also learned that there is possibly going to be a vigil here in the park in Tyler Gurth's memory at 7. Live at Jefferson Square Park for WHS 11 News, I'm Tyler Emery.